what's pop you guys and welcome back to Toy C T V. So your girl Dusty did go mad in the month of March. And it definitely was giving March Madness type of vibes. You get what I'm saying? On the clothes, the shoes, the shows that I've been binge watching, the books that I've been reading. So I was just like, yeah, let me just come on today and just really show y'all better than I can tell y'all the recent pickups that I had in March. So let's get into this video. The first thing that I picked up in March was this tier nyc hoodie and it's in the color teal it is spring it is hoodie season and i love spring because a good hoodie in the springtime can make your outfit go from zero to 100 real quick real effing quick all right so this hoodie is everything i love the feel of it it's thick and it's okay because in new york city we got bipolar weather one week we'll have 40 degrees the next week we'll have 80 so this is the hoodie that I needed and I also really wanted a tear NYC hoodie. I really wanted the mocha color, but the teal color was the color that I settled for after and it is so cute. Like I could just imagine myself wearing this at the airport. I really do like it. I didn't know that there was like a little design on the sleeve. So this is really cute too. I really do love this hoodie. It complements my skin. It's just so gorgeous. This is an item that I never knew I needed in my life and I had to go get it. So yeah. Love it. Also, I probably failed to mention when I had my tear NYC hoodie is that I got it in a size large. So on to the next item. Before I pull this item up, just know that this item is going to have them girls in a frenzy at the gym okay your girl has really been on her health and wellness journey and i'm gonna sit here and tell y'all bruh let's go with the girls in a frenzy your girl is definitely a lululemon girl and i got my lululemon defined jackie and this is in larkspur it's in the color larkspur I don't know what that is, but it's this nice, like, blue. It's giving what it's supposed to give, okay? And this is in a size 12. I think I should have went to, like, a size 8 or 10 so it could really define me. But I have my sewing machine, so I could definitely, like, take it in. But, yo, let me tell y'all. This got them girls in a frenzy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, bruh. So they have like this, we made too much tab. And that's where I found this at. It was crazy because it was literally the last size and I got it. So I definitely got this at a discount, but I'm in love with this color. I was going to get the black one, but then I'm like, I wore too much black. I need some color in my life. So happy. <laughs> Your girl is a Lululemon girl, bro. I'm a Lululemon babe, bro. I love the way it fits on me. I'm not even going to hold you. Like this is a nice airport fit. But I would wear this to the gym like when I either go do yoga or Pilates. So, yeah, this is it. And then some. The next item that I picked up was this tie-dye shirt. And I absolutely love this. So, like, I wanted to get two of these because just look at this. Like, this is literally a work of art. And I know I keep saying that, but this is literally, like, some artwork. This is something that you would see, like, in a museum display it is so cute and i love graphic tees like this i feel like it's giving me like a festival type of outfit like or a concert type of vibes good thing that brenda boys concert is coming up i might just wear this so i don't know but it's, it's really nice and i like it i originally actually wanted to cut this down the middle but i'm like nah the graphic tee is just too like nice for me to do that so i really do like this and i think it's so cute so i'm just like yeah let me just leave the t-shirt but i have so many outfits in mind with this and i'm really happy that i got this so the next item that i picked up was these new balances and it's crazy because normally in men's i wear size 6.5 or 7 but in these shoes since i tried it on in store i had to go up a size because the feet is very narrow and i have wide feet but i got these 327 team forest green new balances and it is so cute like look at this look at that I don't know. Spring is just giving green, all right? 
it's just the season of money and i really did want this in the black color but i really do like green i don't know why green is it's tended to be the color it's tended to be my color and i don't know probably i'm going through like a seasonal thing where i like everything green like the shirt is green the hoodie that i got was green the shoes is green i think god is trying to tell me something like is this the season that i'm getting money like i'm getting money money it's looking like that season when people are cutting the check for no reason all right yep these are the sneakers i love them so much let me just bring them up a little bit closer because i think i need y'all to see the detailing on this the details it's all in the details baby and i love these i would definitely say go a size up these are very 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 narrow shoes and if you have wide feet go a size up i had to go up a size or two in this and i like the way it fits i like the silhouette of the shoe the next item that i picked up was from nike and i had to give a little backstory on it because i feel like i feel like i've been on a hunt for like roche runs and those were my sneaker when those sneakers were popping like i had like four or five pairs of roche runs so i was just like i just need a regular black and white shoe that i could wear like almost every day because we're going back into the office stuff is getting back to normal or whatever you call it and i'm just like okay let me see what black and white shoe nike has because i really don't like adidas shoes and i feel like nike shoe is the best like everyday shoe if it's not new balances which i told you guys i was trying to get the 327 in black and i couldn't find it so i'm like okay let me just go to nike and see what i could find they didn't have no old shades they like that's been discontinued for two years i'm like what you mean like what you talking about is discontinued amazon selling it but they don't have my size and i'm just like okay whatever so i went to the nike in brooklyn and i settled for the nike challenger og and these are some sneakers that i liked and it kind of reminds me of the 327s but it's really not so let me show y'all so i got this in a size seven because this is a men's shoe and i believe the last size the smallest size in men are seven and i'm just like you know what I'm going to just have to wear thick socks with these because these are type big on me, okay? They type big. So, here they are. Let me just put this to the side. And it is these Nike Challenger OGs. And I like it. It's literally just a regular shoe. Like, I just needed a regular black and white shoe that I could either wear to work or, like, if I had to do, like, a grocery run or these could be, like, airport shoes it's just like a regular everyday black and white shoe i was just filling these shoes and it was crazy because they were doing a sale and i got 30 percent off of these so i was just like it's a one-way situation for me it's nothing really big or bright about this but i just like it it just reminds me of like the shoes that i used to wear back in the days to gym so i was just like i need this in my life i'm probably gonna go run back and get a second pair before the sale goes out and they discontinue this shoe because Nike, I got some issues, more issues than Vogue, okay? But definitely love this shoe. Before we move along, if you guys made it to this point in the video, comment down below March Madness because I need to know who's still trekking along and who's still like following along with this video. So let me see y'all. Comment that down below, March Madness. And let's move into skincare. Ever since I did my exchange program in Korea, I have loved skincare and adore skincare. And skincare for me is an essential part of my life. And the two things that I picked up from Innisfree were these two facial cleansers. And this one, this is my holy grail. I probably run out of this every quarter so probably this will last me for like three months i really do like this it's a creamy cleansing foam with jeju green tea that hydrates skin while whisking away dirt and impurities leaving skin feeling refreshed and it definitely does leave my skin refreshed okay i love this one and bruh i can't get enough of this one but i feel like yeah I can't get enough of this one that's just it that's just point blank period ever since career days this was my best friend okay that's my best friend she a real bad ish okay and this is a newer one that i was trying it was on the best sellers for innisfree and i was just like okay let me just try it out i would say out of 10 i would give this an eight 
and this one is the pore clearing facial foam with volcanic clusters I like the smell of it but I feel like after using my holy grail green tea one this probably will be my second favorite and this is a facial cleansing foam formulated with the absorbing powers of Jeju volcanic cluster that foams into bubbles to help whisk away impurities and makes the skin feel smooth it's good I guess I really do like Jeju when I went to Jeju if you guys didn't see that video go watch that video um Jeju was just such a nice place to be and Jeju really reminds me of Miami so I definitely do feel like anything that comes from Jeju okay is good for the skin because them waters bruh crystal clear the next pickup that i got from innisfree is very sad because it's honestly done and i'm actually even embarrassed to show this because this is how you know i'll be running through innisfree products but this is could y'all see that y'all can see it y'all can see it but y'all can't read it because it's literally done and I take this everywhere with me. Like, I don't know. I just love this toner. And shout out to Madeline, my Korean bestie, that recommended this to me. Because ever since, like, I bought the big one in Korea, I've been on the lookout for the Blueberry Collection to hit American stores. And it finally did a few months ago. So this is the biggest size that they have, unfortunately. And it's the 150 milliliter size. I mean, it's good for traveling, but I really do wish that they had a bigger size. But this is the blueberry rebalancing toner with blueberries. Bruh, this toner is it and then some. When I tell you it leaves my skin feeling refreshed and revitalized, bruh, it's just like the R's you need in life. This product is definitely it. So this is a hydrating toner with blueberry known for its antioxidant properties that help rebalance skin's oil water level for healthy glowing complexion. I literally said it literally revamps my skin. I bought this in the beginning of March and we're now in April. This shows you how much I use this product and I really do love it. It's literally almost done. I really had my fair share of different toners but this one always came out on top. This is definitely the holy grail of toners. It's so good. As I told you guys in the beginning of the year, I definitely wanted to make this the year of health and wealth. So in January, I promised myself every month I'm going to read a book. So in January, I did Clever Girl Finance by Bola Shokunbi. The second month, I read Atomic Habits by James Clear. And in March, I picked up this book, which is called Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle by Elemi Nagoski and Amelia Nagoski. This is such a good book, especially for times like this. If you're feeling like you're burning out, especially because like we're working from home, you're working remotely, just life in general, if you feel like it's a burnout, this is the book to pick up. No, this is not sponsored, but I just feel like this book is so good. I love it so much. It's literally helped me, especially like understand stress more, understand how to come out of stress, understanding like what burnout feels like. And I really do like this book. This book has to be my top 10. Like it has to be on my bookshelf when I get my crib because I feel like I would like to pass this down to either my niece or nephew or my kids. Like it's just a good book. And I feel like if you like reading or you're an avid reader, this is the book, okay? So let's really get into this because there's a lot of shows that I do like watching on Netflix, but I'm gonna give y'all my top three at the moment. I am not a Korea boo, but I love K-dramas and I feel like my K-drama for the month of March was forecasting love and weather. And let me tell y'all something. The actors in that K-drama were just so beautiful. Siwoo, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know his name. I think that's his name in the show. Siwoo, bro. That man, yo, he has played in some of my favorite K-dramas. I don't really like Love Alarm, but he's in Love Alarm as well. He played in Never, Nevertheless. 
I believe that's what it was called, nevertheless, with the girl from Abyss. I love him as an actor. He's probably one of the best looking Korean actors out there. He's like literally my top three. And also, the female, the leading lady from What Happened to Secretary Kim, she is definitely one of the most beautiful actresses out there in Korea. And I feel like she's also in top three. Her and the one that's from Strong Girl Do Bon Su. Bruh. I love them both and just having my two favorite like top beautiful actress and actors in the same k-drama you already know that i was gonna watch it so the second show that i've been been watching and i actually finished it the day that it came out was none other than bridgerton like like if you have a netflix account and you didn't watch bridgerton what are you doing like what are you doing and even if you don't have a netflix account Go get one from your friend. Go get one from your sister, your brother, your uncle, your auntie. Go find one. Because if you did not watch Bridgerton, I don't know what you're doing in life, okay? Bridgerton was my show. Season 2, top season 1. And that is really hard to do, especially with the rave that it got from the first season. Like, the popularity it got. Season 2 was just bigger and better. The Viscount, bro, let me tell you something about that Viscount. I don't know what was going on in Season 1, but they gave him sideburns. They made him look crazy. They had his hair looking like this, like a whole tornado on his head. Like, what is going on? Season 2, I really had to spin the block because homie was looking good. Homie was looking good. The Viscount was looking scrum dilly umptious, bro. Like, what? I said, nah son he was looking good bro i could talk about bridgerton all day long but i'm gonna just cut it short like this the sharma sisters beautiful like i loved the representation of darker indian skinned women in bridgerton too like i loved it i loved it it was so beautiful kate and edwina sharma just beautiful skin color beautiful actresses everything the whole nine i hope we see them in the next couple of seasons i know we're not going to see edwina we're going to see kate but it's whatever like you know bridgerton is that and then some and i literally finished that show in a day and i don't know what to do with myself i feel like i had to go to dc to go to like the immersive experience and i don't know i don't know how i make it there but I need a Bridgerton season three, Shonda. Like, Shonda Rhyme, so let's go. Well, I feel like the third show that I did binge watch or I did rewatch the whole season one and two was Dark Desire. And let me tell you something shout out to Netflix because Netflix really does a good job with bringing different cultures onto one platform. Like, I feel like before, if you really wanted to watch, like, let's say, Nollywood films or Bollywood films, you have to go run to YouTube. And you will get it at, like, the lowest quality ever. I feel like Netflix is doing, like, Ultra 4K HD. And the quality of these shows and movies from different countries around the world is so beautiful. And that's why I really do like Netflix. This is not a Netflix sponsorship. But just to really give Netflix its flowers because, like, you got to understand, like, Netflix really did come a long way. And I feel like watching shows that's not american is just a flex in itself so wait is it deseo oscuro or oscuro deseo that's how you say it in spanish but in english it's called dark desire and let me just tell you something if y'all did not watch that show y'all need to go watch it it's a good show it's given like 50 shades of gray added with 365 so I'm not really going to talk about that show a lot. I'm not going to spoil it for y'all. Y'all just got to go watch it. All I can say is that man Dario is crazy, all right? We like Dario, but to a certain extent because it's muy loco, muy loco. Like, nah, we don't, we don't do that over here because <laughs> that man Dario will drive a woman crazy. That is a good show, to be honest. Like, if y'all need something to binge watch, Go binge watch Dark Desire. They literally just came out with a new season like a couple of months ago. But your girl just got put on to that. And it is such a good show. And yeah, those were my March recent pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely want to do like these recent pickups like monthly. So be on the lookout for April. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you got to this point in the video, comment down again. March Madness, you know I really do love y'all and I definitely do rock with y'all and I know my A1 Day 1's made it to this point and if you made it to this point and you're new, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe 
Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. Also, turn on y'all notifications so you know when I'm dropping another one on y'all. And yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.